There's been a few questions with regards to <clears throat> Habidukum Allah, the coronavirus, and what do you say concerning those people who they are promoting conspiracy theories with regards to the outbreaks of the coronavirus saying that is a, it is a hoax and so on and so forth. My advice to myself and my advice to the brothers and the sisters, Alhamdulillah, Allah Azza wa Jalla tells us in the Quran, "Fasalu ahl al-dikri in kuntum la ta'lamun." Ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. Alhamdulillah, the scholars have spoken. Takalam al-ulama, takalam al-ulama. The scholars have spoken. Walillah alhamd. My advice to myself, Alhamdulillah, and my brothers and sisters, "Qif haythu waqf al-qom." Stop with the people stopped. Alhamdulillah, take the necessary precautions that we have been advised with that go in accordance to the Quran and the Sunnah. Alhamdulillah that do not oppose the teachings of the Qur'an and the Sunnah. As we mentioned, as salam ala ta'adilu hashay, being safe, alhamdulillah, is important. Anyone who has studied maqasid al-shari'a, anyone who has studied the primary objectives of Islamic law, then you know that yes, you have hifd al-deen, preservation of the religion, also you have preservation of life. What we are dealing with now is pre preservation of life. No doubt, with regards to the danger, and the seriousness of this disease, then yes, there are discussions that take place. However, generally, we are being advised to take precautionary measures in order, bi'idhnillah, by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so that we can help, so that we can help, barakallahu feekum, and assist ourselves, and also assist others. And preservation of life, is from the primary objectives of Islamic law, based upon many texts that we find in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. From those ayat that the scholars they mention is the saying of Allah, وَلَا تُلْقُوا بِأَيْدِيكُمْ إِلَى التَّهْلُكَ وَأَحْسِنُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And do not throw yourselves into destruction. Do not throw yourselves into destruction. And that is why when the scholars, they look at the issue of, for example, they've given the fatwa, the, the committee of senior scholars in Saudi Arabia, when they've advised for the masajid to be closed, they take into consideration these principles and they say, no doubt, attending the salat of jama'ah, the congregation, is an obligation, but as some of the scholars have mentioned, it is from those things that complete the objective of Islamic law. It's from the mukammilat. It's not a maqsad in itself, meaning the jama'ah. -ah. So in that situation, the precedence is given to the primary objective here, which is what? It is preservation of life. And alhamdulillah, that's why they say you pray the jama'ah, -ah, you pray the prayer in your home. So yes, you still preserve the religion by praying the prayer. And as for those people that they are trying to disparage individuals and demonize them for taking the fatawa of the senior scholars, then la taltafitu ila ha'ula, don't pay any attention to them. If they want to be reckless with their own well-being and the well-being of others and ignore the advice of the scholars, and especially those in the Muslim lands, because there are those in the Muslim lands who are inciting people to oppose the rulers, don't pay any attention to those individuals. Alhamdulillah, the matter is with Ahlul Fatwa. When Sheikh Abdul Muhsin, I'll give an example. When Sheikh Abdul Muhsin in Saudi Arabia, they went to Sheikh Abdul Muhsin, the Muhaddith of Medina, and they mentioned to him a fatwa that he gave before the fatwa of the, uh, the senior committee of scholars. When Sheikh Abdul Muhsin had said that, you know, you should still go to the Jama'ah, the congregation. So they were trying to use his statement to go against the fatwa of the Hay'a. When they asked Sheikh Abdul Muhsin, he said, That's, I said that before the, the senior scholars, they gave their verdict. He said, when they speak, and look, out of humility, he said, he said, it is not like a student of knowledge like myself or, or those like me to even entertain this affair. And the Sheikh is an alim. Min ulama al umma. So if the Sheikh says that about himself, what about us? What about people who have not reached that darajah? What about people who have not sat with the scholars of Islam? What about people who have not studied the maqasid of the sharia? 
That is why we have to be balanced. If somebody takes that decision and they oppose that fatwa, that's on them. However, we're not going to behave like they behave where they try and demonize others for taking the position of the elder scholars. Rather, a person should say, MashaAllah, they take the position of those elder scholars. Like a Sheikh Al-Fawzan, when he was asked, in Western countries, we are being advised to close the masajid. Should we listen? It was said in that which was spread from the Sheikh Habibullah, if they are advising you for your own well-being, then you should listen to them. So Alhamdulillah, nahnu, yes, we are with the ulama. And as for those people that want to scream taqlid, they don't even know the meaning of a taqlid. And not all taqlid is madmoon, barakallahu feekum. Taqlid that is blameworthy is that which goes against the clear text of the Qur'an and the Sunnah. Alhamdulillah, in those type of nawazil, we would prefer to be with the scholars than to be with the reckless. We would prefer to be with the scholars than to be with the reckless. Than to be with those who offer lip service that they are with the scholars. But the reality shows who are, who are with the scholars and who are not. Naam. Barakallahu feekum. So that is my answer to the question. Alhamdulillah, speak with the speech of Ahl al-ilm, the ulama. Walillah alhamd. Fi kalamim hikmah, in their words is wisdom. Walillah alhamd, and in their words... You find that which is sufficient for all of us and beneficial for the Ummah. And I'll stop with that. Shakar Allah lakum jami'an. Wa subhanaka Allahumma bihamdika shalawan la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.